Hey folks, this is Vint with Add Gaming Addiction, and today we're going to check out Third Front. This is a game that you can find on Steam's early access program for about 8 bucks. It's worth mentioning that I just got my press key, so this is going to be a first impressions video, and I'll be learning as I go. Here's a look at the main menu. Continue, New Game, Campaign, Save, Load, and Settings. Under Settings, pretty simple. Screen Resolution, Windowed Mode, Sound and Music, Sliders, and Language. Alright, now the campaign button seems to be grayed out for me, so we'll just start a new game. And, uh, allies, because America. Okay. Go to Central District. All right, bottom, middle, alright. Army tab. Four types of military units. Each type has its own unique characteristics. Let's form one infantry squad. It looks like we'll be able to improve them as well at some point. Okay, so we have uh, number, damage, and ammunition, as well as the effectiveness of the attack against other types of units. Okay, so for example, on the right-hand side, it looks like there's five little icons. I'm guessing that's their effectiveness against that particular unit, possibly. So not very effective against tanks is what I'm gathering from that. Uh, strength, damage, and ammunition. Okay. Form one unit of Scottish infantry. It confronts the infantry of the enemy quite well, but is completely ineffective against aviation. Okay. We need to expand our offensive military power against enemy military equipment. So we're going to build a tank. Okay, it's time to strike back and weaken the enemy's rear. All right, fine. Into battle. Oh, okay, so this is more of a card game as opposed to... I mean, it, it's a... It's clearly it's a, a war game, but at the same time, uh, it looks like it utilizes cards as opposed to actual units, as you would, as you would see, like, in an RTS, for example. All right. Let's look at the strengths and weaknesses of this unit. Infantry inflicts good damage on enemy infantry detachments, so we will choose it. Okay. After each attack, our unit number is declining, and the ammunition is also reduced. When this card drops to zero, the card will leave the battlefield, order the unit- okay. Oh, alright. So it looks like everything is possibly turn-based in this. Let's attack Birmingham, alright. So... Didn't this unit get destroyed in the last one? Uh, maybe. Uh. Okay, so 50% attack. Not very good against that tank. Give the order to attack. To battle. Our enemy suffered small losses, and now it won't be difficult for our tanks to destroy the enemy. Alright. All right, excellent victory. So it's sort of like a rock, paper, scissors effect. Okay, so that was the extent of the tutorial. Got it. Um, this should be fun. All right, very top middle looks like there's time control. So it's it's very possible this game isn't turn-based. Maybe it's turn-based in terms of cards, but you know, during battle, but I guess on the map here... Uh, it's sort of, I guess, in real time at the speed that you set. Um, L resources mined. Uh, okay. Extraction is 0.3 tons per hour. Max resources, 250 THS. Okay. This one is earned currencies. Okay. I wonder what the difference is between the two of these. I'm guessing our, our units are going to require both resources. Okay, on the left-hand side, I'm guessing this is a log of sorts, or no, it's a quest reward. Okay, so I'm guessing these are quests that we're going to be doing. We need to conquer as many areas as possible in the near future. You need to capture three. You have captured... Oh, so, okay, so the green ones mean we've completed the quest and we get a reward for it. And same thing. 
you need to capture two, and we've captured three, so we're going to get more rewards for that. This one is... Okay, liberate the city of Liverpool. So these are, I'm guessing, quests that still need to be completed. Liberate Glasgow. Okay, we need to capture more things. Alright, very bottom middle is the academy. So this is our research tree, this academy. Okay, this is interesting. So we'll be able to level up our cards, possibly. I don't know if they're individual cards that we're upgrading or just infantry across the board. Engineer, okay, it looks like it's, they're broken down into four separate tabs here. Like, I think the tutorial in the beginning was good, but I think it needed to continue uh, to cover this stuff. But, you know, I think we'll figure it out as we go. So, it looks like we can spend this, these resources in the upper right-hand corner here. So, let's go ahead and upgrade that. So, I think these are for the different infantry units that we have. Because notice the, the icons. I think this is the Scottish one on the top left. Notice the kilts. Uh, and I'm guessing this is these, these two infantry. Okay. All right. So I guess the question is, do we... Uh, I guess we'll just upgrade them equally, and then... That way, if we need a diverse set of resource... Or diverse set of units, we have them. So I'll just do one of each. Fleet. I don't know if we need the fleet yet, but I'll go ahead and upgrade them. Aviation. Okay. So we're all at level 2 now. Let's close this out. Central District. Alright, now as far as improving... That seems to be grayed out, but... Okay, available 50 of 100. Hmm. Well, I'd love to upgrade it, but for whatever reason, I can't seem to do that. There's no... The improve button is grayed out. I wonder if that ties in somehow to the research tree, but I'm not sure. Oh, you can also... Instead of just doing... Ar in the central district, um, the tutorial covered the army section here, but there's also an economic section, parliament... Okay, so we can improve that. <laughs> okay, uh, for an upgrade, it remains to capture 12 region. Y again, some of the text here is a little confusing, but... Okay, this is daily production. Increasing economy is a good thing, in my opinion. National reserve um, limit of accumulation of... So I'm guessing this increases our max resource count. 200, okay, we don't need that, I don't think. Um, Federal Reserve Bank. Okay, so this is also... Da oh, daily production. Okay, we want that as well. Okay, so um, let's, there's science. Research of infantry. Okay, so I'm, okay, so my earlier thought about the research tree was incorrect. I think... Oh, now it says improve. What's up with that? Okay. wonder why it wasn't available before. I, w I was thinking maybe that the science tab, after improving this, would tie into this improve button. But it, again, the interface and how everything ties together is a little different and a little weird right now, but I'm slowly learning. Fortification, diversions, okay... All right, let's... I want to get some some military... Okay, let's go ahead and hire infantry. Not enough resources. Maybe we have some already. We have not enough resources across the board, so I'm not exactly sure why that is. How much does it take to hire them? On the very bottom middle, like, of that French infantry division, it says 50 stars, whatever that is, 70k in the first resource, and 70k in the second resource. So, I, it looks like, yeah, those match the, the green and the blue resources on the very top here. So, why I don't have enough, maybe I don't have enough of these stars, I, I don't know. It just says not enough resources. Very strange. Okay. Like I said, the tutorial would have been helpful here. I mean, can we improve them at least? We can. Okay. Your army. 
50 out of 150 infantry, 70 out of 100. Okay, so I wonder if there's a cap to the amount of units I can have. It's possible. All right, cities. So we have, th oh, okay, so these are three cities that we have, I'm guessing. All right, so here's Birmingham. Okay, so yeah, there's three here, and then there's three under the cities button. Okay. All right, so what was one of our goals? It was to liberate Liverpool. All right, now I'm looking to see, okay, I'm hovering my mouse over it. I'm guessing red is bad. It, it looks like he might have two military units there. Uh, or infantry units and then one aviation unit. This one... Bristol might be easier. Hovering my mouse over that, there's one infantry unit and one air unit versus our one tank and one... So I'm wondering, can our infantry unit take out the planes or not? All right, what's this one? One boat, one infantry versus one... I can't imagine tanks being good against ships, but mm, I could be wrong. So I'm guessing I need to hire more stuff. All right, let's, let's increase speed and see. Okay, so we are earning resources right now. Okay. All right, so let's, now that we've got resources, let's pause. There's also a mail button up here. Oh, this, again, this is just the log, I think, of what we were doing. So the log wasn't on the left. It was the quest log over here. But in the upper right is the log of what we're actually doing. All right, go back to Central District. I want to see if we can hire more... Um, can we build aviation? Again, not enough resources. It says, oh, 70K. All right, yeah, we only have 18 point. All right, so... Oh, so we don't have enough resources. Okay, that makes sense. All right, so we need 70, K wow, that's a lot. Okay, so let's let's just fast forward time a lot. I wonder if anything happens. The enemy, okay, so stuff does happen when time flows. The next defense of the city was a failure of our troops. Uh, well, that's good. Um, can we take it back? Uh, two infantry, okay, so let's see if we can hire. Oh, we can even click on our own cities and build stuff. Oh, I did not know that. Okay. So we can... Well, we're going to need some military to take back what we just lost. But, you know, we can increase from the looks of it. Population um, produces different resources per hour, profit. Pro okay, interesting. All right, so we're going to have to think about that as well. Okay. Uh, Central District. I'd like to go... Okay, so we can now hire infantry. So it looks like I'm looking for something that's good against planes. And that's 75% effective. Let's do another infantry unit. And we're down to 19. Okay, so now let's try taking that back if we can. Okay, all right. So we've got these two. It, it looks like it might be an even fight, but I can't tell. They're... This guy is good against tanks. This one is not to battle. Okay. So I'm wondering if we can control who attacks who. Like, if we can get the French infantry division... Well, like, I want the tanks to attack people, but I also don't want them to get hit by this... What is that? Romanian infantry division? Um, yeah, let's do that. And this is good. Okay, so this is 100. All right. And, okay, so that's it. So we can't add more cards to this. Okay, so it does matter. Interesting. So whoever, whoever you're paired off against is who you're attacking. So it's good to pair... Again, rock, paper, scissors, you want to sort of pair off cards to attack enemies that are weak against you and strong against them. All right, so finish the battle. Now, my question is, did we lose that infantry unit forever? Or no? Let's go ahead and pause this. Central district. It says two. So do we not, did we not lose that army, even though we, even though we lost it in battle there? 
One, two, okay, let's go ahead and attack. All right, uh, this one's good against tanks. So what I'm going to do, uh, we're going to go to battle with this one. And we're, there's one infantry in it that I have is somewhat good. Yeah, this one is good against planes. And this Romanian infantry is good against tanks. So we're going to send the Scottish infantry division and to battle. Whoa. It said it wasn't effective against infantry, yet it, it destroyed me. Um, yeah, I'm not going to do that. I can retreat. I don't want to waste my tank. The enemy captured Birmingham again. That's just wonderful. So, okay, so the little target symbol, I think, is where they're attacking next. Can we take this back? So we don't actually lose cards. We just... It's just temporary. Like, so we could just do the same thing again. Uh, tank against that, and infantry against this, and we should win. Yeah, same result. Okay. 60k, 58k. So pretty soon we'll be buying another unit. So we need something that's effective against planes. If we're going to take out Swansea. Leeds has a plane as well. Liverpool has a plane. We can go maybe to Calais. Uh, they've got a lot of a lot of troops there. I don't think that's a good idea. All right. I, I think we should spend more money on, on buying more military units. Um, aviation. Yeah, not enough. For, okay, so... So this fighter, Bolton Paul Defiant, is good against... Uh, I'm guessing enemy cities, but I'm looking for something good against... Okay, so this bomber, not a good against other... Oh, this is good against everything but planes. So we're going to want this fighter, Curtis, if we're going to be taking it to the skies. Unless there's some other unit that we can use that's good against planes. Yeah, none of our infantry units... Are that effective against it? Oh, there's this ZSU M15. It's real. It's it seems to only really be used against planes. We could do that instead. Although that's kind of specializing. It, does this plane do anything else? But see, so this one's also good against tanks, somewhat. Seventy-five percent effective against tanks. So we might want to consider buying this over that other one. But is there a difference in price? 70k, 70k, and this is 70k, 70k. Okay, so we need to um, just let time pass a little bit here. All right, there. Now what? Uh, build. There we go. So if we, so, when we have the window open and we let the resources accumulate, we have to close the window and reopen it again. It doesn't. It doesn't seem to be like a real time. The, the window doesn't update in real time. All right, let's go ahead and take this, and 30 of 100 points. So I'm guessing it's like a, a cap limit of sorts. It says 30 out of 100. So I guess we need to improve our cap if we want to build more units at some point. All right, so we are going to attack this now. All right, so this one... That and again something good against. There we go. Too bad we can't team up. All right, barely won that one. We got some uh, looks like resources and some cash. All right, so we captured that. Part of me also wants to. What did I just do? What the heck was that all about? I, 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 was, I just wanted to click on the city. Oh, I wonder if that target symbol was not their intended target, but some sort of side quest that I just totally skipped. That's possible. All right, so we get, we're going to get this reward for capturing that fourth territory. Again, this game is early access, so I'm not trying to harp on it too much. But again, a, a tutorial explaining this part of the game would have been nice. It looks like I can zoom out, but I can't zoom any closer than this. Okay. What if we improve... Can we improve... What's this now? Plus one building point? 
How do we improve our defense points? All right, city development, infrastructure level one, factory population plus 250K. This also says produces 200 per hour. Costs 50K, we don't have that. We have 28.3. So these are fairly expensive. So maybe I should focus on military just to shore our defenses up a bit. All right, Liverpool. I don't think we're going to win that one. He's got too much there. Leeds. Mm, we might. He's got, okay, good against tanks, good against tanks. Not good against tanks. What's our, okay, so I don't think we're going to win that one. We can try. Uh, now, what is the downside to losing a battle? Because it doesn't look like we actually lose any units, so I'm, I'm not sure why attacking would be a bad thing, even if you lose. Oh, we lost to Birmingham. Okay, well, let's stop that. Can we take it back? We're constantly losing territory. I wonder if there's a way to defend these uh, locations. Okay, this this thing is good against... We need something that's good against ships. French Infantry Division. And our tanks... That work to battle. Um, okay, he's down to 402. Um, I have nothing that is effective against... Sh oh, that stinks. All right, retreat. Well, I'm doing great so far. Um, I need more units. Something good against ships now. All right, so we've got 80-some K. Let's go ahead and pause it. Um, not enough command points. Uh, okay, so it says available 30 out of 100, and to buy a new one is 70. So I guess you can only, yeah, build so many, 50 of 150. So I can buy one more infantry before I'm forced to improve the cap somehow. French infantry is good against, so I guess we'll need another one of these. Unless we diversify and go with some other... Let's build a fleet. Alright, battleship. Good against ships. Let's go for it. Okay, close. Now we should be able to... So it doesn't seem to matter where we... Like, if we attack something on land, will the battleship still... I'm guessing the battleship will still work here because, you know, we're surrounded by water. But what if we were attacking, say, uh, Metz down here or Geneva? Would that boat, that battleship still count as one of our forces? I'm not sure. All right, let's see if we can get Birmingham back. We've got a little bit more to us now. Um, there's that. And again, the tank versus that, I think. Good idea. To battle. All right, got that back. And the enemy just captured Swansea. That's great. I wonder if time passes whenever we do battle. That might be it. So we're going to attack this because we know we can beat that. Again, we're going to do that against that. And against that tank. Yeah. Oh, okay, so here's that red little thing. All right, so what is this now? What are we going to do? Battle. Scouts. Deten I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. No instructions. Is this the enemy force? Like, I don't know what's going on. What am I supposed to be doing here? All right, no instruction. Okay, well, I don't think we have anything that we can use. Apparently... Okay, so, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh, all right. I, I'm guessing that's something that we have to get resources for or units for, and we just simply don't have it yet. I, that's what I'm assuming anyway. Um, infantry, let's give this a try, see if we can win it. We've got this battleship. Not, not a good against troops, though. Huh. 
Well, this thing stinks against airplanes, so we should be okay to attack that, even if we do stink at attacking it. Um, this one is not good against tanks, and 75-75 parachute division. Let's go with that, see what that does to battle. How did he kill me if he has zero effectiveness against that? All right, let's see if we can finish the job. All right. Come on to battle. We got this. All right, we got leads. Slowly but surely, we're moving up. This seems more like a grind than anything else. Like... Losing armies in this game doesn't have any sort of penalty, like in combat. Like, you get the cards back after combat is over, regardless of whether or not you, you lose them. So, uh, so if we just keep what we have all this, you know, all the time, then our army is just going to get larger and larger and larger. So, this seems to be less of a war game and just more of a grind, you know, just to improve your army size... Get more resources, um, improve your economy so that you're, you're constantly improving your army, um, and basically taking back territories that, that you know, are being taken from you, and just slowly expanding. That, that seems to me what this game's, you know, what this game's all about. Now, I, again, I haven't played it long enough to make any sort of final judgment, but based on my first impression, that, that's what I'm getting out of it. If you guys do want to see more, though, I mean, this is this is kind of fun. I kind of like this. If you guys want to see more, let me know. If you guys haven't already, subscribed to my channel. And check out my official website, www.dadsgamingaddiction.com. This is Vince. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.